So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad ambient air temperature sensor, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad ambient air temperature sensor and how you go about telling if it has failed. And so first of all, what is an ambient air temperature sensor? Well, it basically just monitors the temperature outside of the vehicle. It needs to be in a location that's not directly inside of the sunlight or directly inside of the wind. So it needs to be protected a little bit, but it will be located outside. It's usually located behind the front bumper or grill. To get to it, you usually have to take the grill apart. Although sometimes you could come in underneath and get to it. But it's just a sensor that reports back to the computer what the outside temperature is. And so what would be some symptoms of a bad ambient air temperature sensor? Well, the engine light might come on and the climate control system indicator might start flashing or giving you some type of warning. For example, right here, this green light would be flashing. There's other type of indicators, but quite commonly it'll be flashing or it'll give you a message on the dashboard saying that there's a problem with the climate control system. The outside temperature gauge that's displayed on the dashboard, that's usually going to be wrong. So for example, say it's 65 degrees outside, but on your dashboard it's displaying 35 degrees, then very likely there's an issue with that ambient air temperature sensor. And if that sensor goes bad, the air conditioner or heater might not work, mainly with the automatic mode. So if you have your air conditioner or heater set up in automatic mode and it's not working, then very likely there's an issue with that sensor. So how do you go about testing it to see if it has failed? Well, if you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can scan for codes and it'll give you codes like P0070, P0071, or these type of codes. If you don't have a scan tool, there's a lot of low cost OBD2 scan tools. I'll put a link down below if you need one. Many automotive stores will also come out and quite often they'll scan for free. So if you don't have a scan tool, you can stop by an automotive store and very likely they come out and scan your vehicle for free. But if that sensor fails, you're gonna get codes. You can also use a multimeter to test the sensor since sometimes it might be the wiring going to the sensor. So it can be a good idea to test. And basically to test the sensor with the meter, you set it to ohms, and then you come in on the two leads that's inside of the sensor, and it should have some type of resistance. If it's open or doesn't have any type of resistance, then you know it's bad and it needs to be replaced. With the meter still attached, you could apply heat with like a hot air dryer or something like that. And when heat's applied to the sensor, the resistance should go up. And so you can use a meter to test the sensor to be sure it's not in the wiring before you replace it. And so that's basically it. I just want to go over the symptoms of a bad ambient air temperature sensor. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.